What you're going to do is you're going to deploy your UAV. This is one of the primary features of Commander 1.0. It deploys much faster than it used to. You're going to want to put it directly over the area that you're trying to look at. Since the enemy controls this flag, Train Depot, I've deployed it there. It's already deployed. To get in, I'm going to go to this radar, I'm going to hit 2, um, to switch to normal thermal mode and blue 4, but since we are militia, we cannot do that. Uh, I'm going to hit E to get in and start looking for targets, for mortars, for area attacks, for infantry teams. If you find contact, you can hold Q and left click, that will put a Q on your page to get a better look you can deploy the UAV even if it is only 25 meters away this will allow you to not have to move the mouse the way the 1.0 UAV works is that you put it directly where you have set the UAV and it will circle as it is right now and I don't have to touch the mouse very clean very easy allows you to concentrate on differentiate what kind of units are down there and communicating with the rest of your team one way you can communicate with the rest of your team are the markers found some mortars here so we're going to have to redeploy the UAV or top of them. Yeah, really. I'm going to call in I'll grab that ride. counter mortar measures as well as a strike team. Uh oh, their mortars are firing. That can be pretty bad for our team, so First thing I'm going to do is start by giving squad one an objective after marking it. Uh, this unfortunately was a beta video and the marker is refilling at the old speed. Uh, the new speed you can put markers down much faster. You can see I gave squad one an order to attack that with their technical by selecting squad one there and the command screen and then right clicking and giving it a target. I'm going to do the same thing for squad four since they seem to be slightly available as well. I, the, the thing you'll find in commander mo most often is... Squad lead, this is uh, squad two. Actually, We're maxed out on FOBs. It's possible to kill one for this uh, depot attack. So in the middle of trying to give everyone orders out, one of the uh, squads has asked me to remove one of the fives because you see here we have Thank six. You. Six is the ma maximum amount. So I'm going to take the one that's furthest away from the area operations by right clicking on it and then going down to demolish. It's going to demolish not only the fob but all assets that Thank are part of the fob. Mortars, HMGs, AT, and AA included. Foxholes and razor bar. Uh, next thing we're going to do is direct these mortars inbound. 
uh, in more squad that uh, I asked to target them. And then it's one of the main features the UAV's abilities to silently look at targets, and we have a hit. So they're going to keep firing, clean that area up, take down those motors. This whole time I'm communicating that these are good hits to the team and letting them know to fire for effect. Okay, next ability of the UAV is to lay in blue four forces. To do that, you have to switch to two, which is going to turn on your thermals, as I just showed there. You can see that the UAV is circling right where I've got it deployed on the northern side of this intersection right there. Basically we're looking for anything south of half units. In thermals, anything that has thermal signature will show up hot. And you see that's a friendly crossing the street there. That's an enemy boat. <coughs> now I've got a target. Also have cast coming in, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to target enemy for them, and at the same time I'm going to laze by left clicking. If you were to zoom in, that would actually lock onto the vehicle. Zoom in by hitting X. It's the area attack ability. Your squad leaders can target an area and you just click set. See we've got all kind of enemies coming into this militia fortress and it would just take a lot of friendly lives to take that so we're just going to call on this area attack. vehicle, field guns, and all kinds of stuff. You see they immediately go down. You turn off thermals and you notice the smoke does not have as much effect in thermals, if any. And you can see the huge smoke plumes. Area attacks take 30 minutes to charge. One of the new features uh, added in Ramil was the commander uh, recon plane. It only unfortunately goes in one direction. And it's only on the objective style map. somewhat beneficial to controlling this area, which is a key corridor down through the Black Hawk down site. It's 
spot where you can go the way. So get up here to this hill, locate a whole bunch of enemies. One, two, three. Last but not least, also, commander rally points require yep. good. two uh, friendly officers and uh, eight to ten uh, infantry. They're going to come up as a C on the map, respawn screen, and will be available for the entire team. More to the north. It'll be really huge. One of the most forgotten features of uh, insurgent commanders is their ability to deploy the waypoints as informants around the city, which are unseen collaborators who give you intelligence to whether or not enemies are in the area. You get up to seven of them, deploy those again with the waypoints, it takes about five minutes for the first report to come in and then they'll come about every 30 seconds to one minute. Last but not least, uh, this little feature here that allows you to see the different types of units you have available. As you see, we moved up along this uh, road to try and end this. And uh, if, if I'm looking for a certain type of unit, such as a sniper or AT, I can click these um, buttons here and it'll show me exactly where they are on the map. Thanks everyone for watching, really appreciate the view, I'm going to be back next week with another video on another subject, stay tuned, like me on YouTube, PM me if you guys want to help. The truth in my verses, verses, your metaphors about what your net worth is. <laughs>